Hello everyone, Alex Louis here, giving you your continuation of Excel course for BBA. Today we're going to talk about the for loop and how it works. Previous videos, I've gone over the while loop. Please look over those. By the time that you do exercises there, you should be able to catch this on pretty quick. So what I want to do is I'm going to write a for loop that is going to iterate through the first row, first column of this particular spreadsheet. So I want to go from here, row one, column one, all the way down to row 12, column one, right? And we have a special, special variable called cells, which takes the cell row value and the cell column value. And that's how you can access each particular item in this particular column. So how will we do that? Well, with the while loop, we've seen how we, we've done that previously. Um, I asked you to do an exercise where you would loop through all these and then copy them over here. And later videos, stay tuned, I will provide the answer for that. Now, for this particular exercise, what I want to do is I'm just going to iterate them and then I'm going to print them out on the console window and I'm going to use a for loop. So for the for loop, the syntax is pretty easy. All you have to do is one, you have to create a control variable. So this control variable is going to be the one that's actually going to increment up or down. Usually it's going to be up 99% of the time, maybe down if you have some other type specific case. I'm going to declare it. I would say dim i as integer. And now that I have my variable, my counter variable, the syntax for the for loop is a little strange, but it's easy. So what we're going to do is we're going to say for i, and then when you create your control, when you create your loop, when you start creating your loop, you have a, you have to have a starting point. And with a for loop, your starting point is always going to be defined within this particular section of your for loop. And what we can do is we can say for i equals 1, we're going to go all the way up to, what row are we going to go up to? We're going to go up to row 12. So I would put the number 12 here. Oop. It's not right. And then remember how in the while loop you have, to you have to actually increment your own variable? You would say i equals i plus 1. So you can move ahead in your loop. With the for loop in VBA, what we would do is we would use the word next that comes with the for loop, i. This pretty much means that you are saying i plus plus. That's what that means. The first iteration, i will equal 1. You do whatever you need to do in the body, and then this will increment i. So now i is going to go to 2, and it's going to say, am I at 12? Not yet. So when you get to 12, then that's when it'll break out of the loop. Now what I want to do is I want to print out whatever is in column 1 and everything in that row, in all rows. So I'm going to say debug.print and do cells of i to column one column one so what this is going to do is it's going to start at row one and it's going to print out row one column one so if we go back to the spreadsheet it's going to print out row one column one now next iteration i want to print out row two column one row three column one row 4, column 1, and so on. So if we play this, you'll see that it's printing all the values out. So 60, 70, 20, 20, 35, 76, 63. Uh, sorry. just want to show you that 19, 21, 13, 93, and so on. So these it's, are these values. Up to 84. And that's it right now if I wanted to print all of these all of these values then I'd have to do a nested for and that's that's easy 
that's easy so how I would do that is I would say the following I would say okay I am in row one and I want to go for row one I want to go blah here well here then here then here then here so how many columns do you currently have in the spreadsheet that are filled in well you have four columns right you have four columns so first I want to declare a C as integer and that's gonna be my columns so that here we're gonna say for C is equal to 1 I wanna go up to column 4 next of C so for the first row I'm going to print out cells of I comma C dot value and we're no longer gonna just refer to column one we're gonna actually do C because what's gonna happen is we are going to print from one to four with I starting at one so let's take a look when I is one the inner loop is gonna loop until it's done then after it's done it's gonna break out because it's it's not it's only gonna go up to four then I will increment and now we're at two then we're gonna go to row two but we're gonna start at column one again so that's what we want we wanna go to row two but we wanna start at column one so the magic of the for loop is that we really don't have to reinitialize value variables here uh, as you saw in my previous video with the while loop it automatically reinitializes here where I don't really have to write that much code where I can do this uh, I can put a comment here and this is increment columns okay now it's gonna look a little disorganized but it's gonna print everything out so let's take a look at this we run this run that and you see it you see it all printed out okay that looks a little messy okay now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do that exercise that we that I asked you to do before and I'm gonna print and I'm not gonna print everything I'm gonna put it starting at I I'm just gonna make a copy of this with the for loop and I'm going to print it starting over here and just make a copy of this whole table and put it starting here so it could spread out all the way down and I'm gonna show you that on the next video okay so stay tuned next video I'm gonna do it thanks for watching name is Alex Louie check me out at parttimemagic.com subscribe to my channel if you like the um, the course there's m much more good things to come uh, always always ad free never gonna put ads on here I don't care how many subscribers I get never gonna put ads thanks